nowadays powerful AI-driven upscaling is available freely to basically everyone. And considering, you know, my general tastes, I heavily use tools like Waifu 2X. It is an incredible tool and does a really, really good job. But even something like Waifu 2X can be a little bit confusing to use from the terminal, or you may just prefer using a GUI for working with your tools. So how about we simplify the process? But a problem is a lot of the really nice upscalers that have GUIs also have a price tag attached or a design with Windows in mind. And while there are plenty of free and open source Waifu 2X interfaces, today we are looking at a different project. This is a project called Upscale, which basically makes it as easy as it could possibly get. But obviously the upscaling isn't being done inside of the GUI itself. So this is an Electron GUI frontend for an AI upscaler called Real Escram. This is a completely open source algorithm licensed under a BSD3 clause license. And judging by the examples available and the bit of testing that I've done, it does a fairly good job. Now, I know fairly good job is not a, um, a measurable metric. This is just me saying it's good, but go and try it out for yourself. It's free and see what it's like. Now, the reason why I'm covering this one as opposed to a bunch of the other GUIs out there is because the developer has a really interesting plan. Right now, they are just using real Escran, but into the future, they don't want that to just be the case. They want to make this a generic UI for a bunch of different algorithms and a bunch of different models, so you can just come to this one application and try it all out in one place. Obviously, if you want to have more fine-grained control going over the each individual options, you'd want to go and do so from your terminal. But if it's just something quick you want to upscale, doing it from a simple interface would be quite useful for many people. So there are two ways you can go and add an image. One is you can go into select image and then dump the image in like that. Or the other option is go to a file manager and then drag and drop it in. So let's say with this picture of Luke Smith with hair. This is clearly a really low res image and could do with a bit of upscaling. So the next thing we need to do is select the type of upscaling. We have general photo or digital art. Now digital art is used for anything well digital. So drawings, pictures of games, things like that. Whereas general photo is used for more natural things like landscapes, people, and things like that. I'm going to leave it on general photo. Then we have to go and select where we're actually going to save this. I'm just going to go and dump this into my home directory just because it's going to be easy to find. And then let's go and upscale it. I don't know what the result is going to be, so I'll cut back to when it's done. One really nice thing this does is it provides this slider to compare the image with the way it previously looked. Now, obviously, it looks considerably better. It does look, you know, a little bit off because you can't return information into an image you're upscaling. So if information just isn't there, no amount of upscaling is going to save it. But if you were to use this in a fairly small format, this new version would still look considerably crisper. But let's give it something a little bit fairer to work with. For example, this picture of Ina with a gun. This time I'm going to set it to digital art, and when you go and change the image that you're upscaling, it is also going to go and change your output folder. So let's go and change this back to my home directory, and then let's try the upscale and see what happens. And as you can probably see, when you have a much more favorable starting place, the end result you get from upscaling is going to be considerably better. It's still not going to be perfect. Obviously, no upscaling is going to be perfect, especially when we're not using something specifically made for this type of art style. If you wanted to get a better result, you'd probably want to use something like Waifu 2X, for example. But when it comes to just generally upscaling things, I think this is doing a good enough job. Now, as for actually using this, it is going to require a dedicated GPU that can work with NCNN Vulkan. It's not going to work with CPU rendering whatsoever. According to some comments about the way that Real Escran works, 
it should be able to be configured to use CPU rendering instead. In the end though, you probably don't really want to be using CPU upscaling just because it's going to take so much longer. Even with a small image like this on my RX 570, it takes, you know, a good 10-15 seconds. The CPU is going to take much longer, especially if you start dealing with bigger and bigger images. You may also notice the distinct lack of general upscaling options like sharpening settings, the upscaling size, like how much you want to upscale by, whether to go and remove the extra artifacts, and things like that. Some of those things are planned to come in the future. The reason why the scaling amount has been removed is it actually wasn't working inside of real Eskran, but as it currently is, it is set to a 4x upscale. I think with a bit more polish and exposing a bit more options, obviously not everything, but the options that you'd expect to be that we were talking about doing upscaling, this could be a really, really cool utility. Now, one thing the dev highly recommends against doing is compiling this yourself. As I said, everything is fully open source, you can go and do so if you want to, but you probably shouldn't. So one of the things in the FAQ is you are not fully open source. We are. We're using completely free and open source tech. We do ship a binary, but that's because not including it would kill the entire purpose of the project. If you want to deal with all those PyTorch, NCNN, and Python errors, you're more than welcome to compile your own binary using the code provided by Real Eskran. The binary is pre-compiled for convenience. If you do not trust it, then you can compile your own since everything is free and open source here. Now, if you want to go and use this for yourself, I'm currently using the app image. This is the main way the dev recommends using it. But there is also a flat pack available as well. It's not on any of the flat pack repos. This is a weird way of doing it, and I wouldn't recommend shipping a flat pack like this. They've actually got the flat pack available on the GitHub. So you can go and download the flat pack and then like install it manually like that. It's a really weird way of working with them. Please just put it on somewhere like Flathub or anywhere else like that. There is also a macOS version and a Windows version as well if you use those systems instead. I am really interested to see where the dev takes this going into the future. I hope in an upcoming version there is going to be Waifu 2x support and various other algorithms like that. On that note, the dev does say that the next version is going to be out around September 17th. So it's very possible that by the time this comes out, the video is going to be a little bit out of date, and hopefully the things I brought up have been mostly dealt with. There's the upscaling options and things like that. And in case you were looking for a CLI version of upscale to use, the dev suggests just going to the real Eskron repo, because that's just what they're using on the back end anyway. Now, I do want to apologize to the dev, because when I initially saw this over on Reddit, I had sort of no idea what they were trying to do. I was kind of dismissive of the project, but after further looking into it, I do think it's a really cool project. And while many others did sort of jump down his throat over calling this an upscaler, even though it's a GUI for an upscaler, I think the way that a user is going to see it is this is the upscaler. So let me know. Do you have a need for upscalers in your life, or are you content with images being the size you found them like a 90s caveman? I would love to know. And if you like this video, I'm going to go and like the video. If you really like the video and you want to become one of these amazing people over here, go check out my Patreon, subscribe to the Pay linked in the description down below. I've got a podcast called Tech Over Tea. I've got a gaming channel called Brody Robinson Plays. That's going to be it for me, and I'm out.